Hi, AP Calculus AB students, Mr. Record here from Avon High School, and we're taking a look at our fourth video covering related rates, and we're really interested in taking a look at a triangle. And I don't know why I'm brushing my teeth, but hey, maybe it's getting close to bedtime. Maybe that's what I'm doing. So anyway, let's take a look at the related rates that involve a triangle. And as always, I'm working through a problem that is found within my notes packet, my uh, guided practice that I give to my students. So this example four says we have a right triangle uh, that has sides whose lengths are changing. The short side is increasing at three inches per second and the long side there, just behind my video, the long side is decreasing at a rate of five inches per second. We've got two parts we're looking at. Part A says, let's find the rate of change of the area of the triangle at the moment that the short side's 30 and the long side is 40. And so I like to scaffold these problems with my picture given find an equation model. And if you watched any of the other, uh, one of the other previous videos, example three, we actually use the same strategy at that point. So as far as the picture is concerned, sometimes drawing in a picture can be very helpful. Not all the time will that be the case, but in this case, you can imagine that you've got a triangle here that's got a shorter side and a longer side. I will label them as L and S respectively. It really doesn't matter what you use to label. However, I would use something that's very descriptive that you can always refer back to. I thought L for longer and S for shorter would work perfectly here. We know that the longer side is decreasing, so maybe I could draw a little arrow to indicate that it's getting smaller, an arrow down, whereas the short side is increasing, so I might draw an arrow to the right to maybe help remember with that. Um, I could label the hypotenuse. Maybe I'll have to come back and do that. We'll read a little bit more into the problem and see if we do need to do that. As far as the given, what I like to put in the given is always the rates that are provided. And so in this problem, we see that we have short side increasing at a rate of three. Because that is a derivative, I will call that ds dt. And then I see that I've got the long side decreasing at a rate of five. So that means that the derivative of L with respect to time would be negative five. And I cannot emphasize enough how important it is to put that negative in there. What is it that we're trying to find? Well, you just read the sentence, find the rate of change of the area. So that would be the rate of change or the derivative of, I'm gonna call the area A. And as I said in a previous video, I like to call formula names for geometry like areas and volumes and perimeters capital letters. And I want to find this DADT very specifically. It says find it when the short side is 30 and the long side is 40. And then the equation, well, you just kind of put everything together. Usually the equation is like a mixture of your picture and your find. In your picture, you have this triangle. In the find, you have this word area. Put those two together, and you've got area of a triangle. The area of a triangle is 1 half the base times the height. In this particular case, the base would be the S, and the height would be the L. And with that information, we are locked and loaded to ready uh, and ready to take this derivative and solve it. So it is a calculus problem, a first semester calculus one problem that is, so you're probably going to take a derivative. So if we take the derivative of the area with respect to t, hopefully you realize that we have to use the product rule. We can't really avoid that. I'm going to let the 1 half s go along together as the first function, and then the l will be by itself as the second function. So the derivative of the first function with respect to t would be 1 half times ds dt. I will multiply that by the second function l. To that, I will add the first function, 1 half s, and then multiply by the derivative of the second function with respect to t, which would again give us dl over dt. At this point, you're ready to start throwing information into the problem. You're looking for the rate of change of the area. And now, now we have ds dt, that's equivalent to 3. Our l is equivalent to 40 plus 1 half. Our s is equivalent to 30. And our dl dt is negative 5. You can really start to see why 
I like having this information provided, especially in this given and find row, because you can easily retrieve it and put it into that derivative formula really fast. And we continue with this. 40 times 3 is 120. When you take half of that, you're going to get 60. 30 times negative 5 is negative 150, but when you take half of that, you're going to get negative 75. And this will ultimately simplify to negative 15. And the units are going to be all important here as well. Notice that the numerator was in area, the denominator is in time. So when we talk about inches as our linear measurement, the area would be measured in square inches. And then our time measurement will remain unchanged seconds. So if you were going to interpret this in words, you could say that the triangle's area is decreasing by 15 square inches per second at the time when the sides are 30 and 40 respectively. But you didn't have to say that in a complete sentence because the problem didn't really ask for it. There's your part A. Now I think part B is going to go a little bit more smoothly. In part B, you got a lot of the same information. You still have this picture, which I'll just redraw for the heck of it, because you know, it's always fun to draw a picture. But it's still using the stem of the problem up here in that we have a longer side that's getting smaller and a shorter side that's increasing in size. This time the question asks, how fast is the hypotenuse changing? Well, it sounds to me, if that's the case, then we probably need to label this hypotenuse. And you could use pretty much any letter. I think H makes a lot of sense to me. And we know that we still have the same given from above. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite that. The shorter leg or the shorter side is increasing by 3. The longer leg or the longer side is decreasing by 5, so we have negative 5. But now we have a very different find equation. How fast is the hypotenuse changing? So we're going to call that dh dt. And again, that's specifically when the short side's 30 and the long side is 40 still. And of course, our equation drastically different in this problem. You put your picture together with your find, mentioning of the word hypotenuse with a right triangle, hopefully invokes our wonderful friend, the Pythagorean theorem. S squared plus L squared equals H squared. Notice all three of those are variables, so they will stay as variables. So when we take this derivative, the derivative of s squared is 2s times ds dt. Add that to the derivative of l squared, which is 2l times dl dt. And that will in turn equal the derivative of h squared, which is 2h dh dt. Notice each one of these terms is differentiated with respect to t. Generally speaking, in a related rate problem, you will never take the derivative of time. And so every variable you come across will have that d whatever over dt multiplied by it. Notice that each of these terms does contain a 2. So you could cancel out a 2. That way we don't have to think about it anymore. And then we just start plugging in what we know. The s is 30, where the ds dt is 3. The l is 40, while the dl dt is negative 5. We get over to the right side, and we need to know what h is, because the dh dt is what we're solving for. But I don't think that there's any information that is explicitly given to us about h except for the fact that at the moment that we are considering this rate of change, the long side's 40 and the short side's 30, and a little bit of intuition here about your good Pythagorean triples will hopefully lead you to believe that the hypotenuse is 50. There's your 3, 4, 5 right triangle. So often these related rate problems that involve the Pythagorean theorem will incorporate a special right triangle Pythagorean triple. You're working so hard on these problems to do the calculus. We want to give you a little bit of a break. We don't want you to have to dig into the Pythagorean theorem to find that missing side. So you're going to have a 50 here. On the right side, you see that you've got a 90 minus 200, which will result into a negative 110. 
time equal your 50 times dhdt and then when you solve for dhdt eventually you divide by 50 you can reduce out a 10 in the top and the bottom and you would have negative 11 over 5 or negative 2.2 i believe is what that would be if you go with the decimal answer and because it is a hypotenuse we just use our linear measurement of inches over the time factor so you would interpret this as the hypotenuse is decreasing by negative 11 fifths of an uh, inches for every second hopefully that helps a little bit um, we're just really getting started we've got so many videos in store for you over the related rates uh, topic we want to throw a lot of different kinds of problems at you so you've got a lot of good exposure to the different problem types so stay tuned for those we certainly are happy that you stuck around for this one and we'll see you next time